Uh, my name is Brian Vandegraaff. I am the senior meteorologist at WJLA TV, the ABC affiliate in Washington, DC, where I just celebrated my 24 year anniversary. There's a lot of fun memories through the years. A lot of fun times over with uh, Professor Roger Smith at the WGMU radio, learning about the splicing uh, reels and splicing tape, which kids these days probably will never ever have to learn. Uh, but I will tell you um, that I had some, some really good times in some of those, the production classes, some of those communications classes, and also just uh, with my time uh, working actually as a, used to be called a Mason messenger. I think now they're called the ambassadors. I used to be a tour guide and try to help recruit students. And that was always a fun to kind of show behind the scenes and, and kind of get people excited and energized to, to come check out Mason. And one of my other favorite memories I would have to say was that in the olden days, in the 1900s, <laughs> when I attended, um, one of my student jobs was actually the driver for the president, then president, uh, Dr. Merton was our president of the university and I was his official driver and I would, or one of his official drivers and my, my student job was to drive him to meetings in Richmond or pick up his important uh, visitors at the airport and bring him to this campus or bring him to his home or sometimes if there's parties, I would shuttle people to the parties. But I had many fond memories with the president heading down to Richmond for his meetings with other lawmakers and me tagging along, kind of getting this uh, kind of behind the scenes of all the things that go into making the school what it is. I have a fairly forward facing job, right? Because I'm on TV every day. But uh, having that connection with people has allowed some other people to reach out unrelated to TV to do some of the things that I, I like working with, like Special Olympics and the plane pull out at uh, Dulles that we do every year, um, working with school groups. I love visiting schools, uh, talking about weather, talking about career, uh, talking about school, how I got to where I was, um, but just trying to help pay it forward and give back. And uh, I feel like I was afforded a lot of opportunities uh, through going to Mason internship programs and eventually a career that uh, you know got to bring me on TV in, in my hometown. And so, I'm always trying to find ways to share, you know, some of the some of the greatness that uh, I was, uh, you know, able to take advantage of, and hopefully, you know, help folks the next uh, generation, right? I mean, if people reach out and they say, "Hey, I want to talk about the business," "Hey, I want to talk about how you got started," "Hey, what what classes did you take?" or "What's the path for internships?" or "What do you think the best move would be?" I mean, everyone's move, everyone's path, everyone's trek is different, but my I, my goal is that I is to try to, like I said, pay it forward and I give to the next generation because I had a lot of awesome opportunities that have landed me where I've been. Um, I'm super grateful, but I know that it took a team or a village to get me here. And if I can be part of someone else's team or village to help uh, propel them into the workforce or to their career, then I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm doing my part. All the different opportunities and options, you know, be open, uh, you know, I, to try things because obviously you don't know until you try um, and, and getting as much hands-on experience as you can. I mean, internships, I did them in different fields just to kind of see, engage. I mean, even if it's not a full internship, maybe it's a visit for a week, we'll have people come in and shadow, just a way to kind of get out there and just a sample what there is because there might be some jobs, careers or paths that you might not even be familiar with. So, you know, I would say don't just uh, lock yourself into one path, but look at numerous before you kind of make that decision and know that I think there's a the breadth of, uh, of folks um, Mason alumni extended that are in this business that are valuable resources that you should be tapping into because hopefully we can help you in that path.